Hey guys, it's the Everyday Aficionados with another liqueur review. And today, we have something special. St. Germain's Elderflower Liqueur. This is a French liqueur that has become popular relatively recently. In mixology circles, it's referred to as bartender's ketchup because the flavor is so versatile, it can literally be added to any drink and it will complement it. That is made with elderflowers. That is literally like the only ingredient used to flavor it. The process for getting these elderflowers, actually they can only harvest it during three weeks in the spring. So all of the elderflowers that go into the year's batch are harvested during three weeks and they're hand-picked. And they do something special unlike other liqueurs which are either just infused with the flavor or they simply macerate the ingredients together and then steep them. Apparently they use a technique which they call constant maceration. Rather than just mashing everything up and then just throwing it in the drink, they sort of macerate it with the alcohol, I guess? Hmm. Which prevents the elderflower from releasing its bitter qualities. Also, they never freeze the flowers either, which gives it a very fresh taste. <laughs> take a look at the branding here this awesome bottle i really love how it like flowers up like that it just looks very floral and it really complements the fact that it's made with elderflowers to me it looks very french gothic you've got these black labels with the glossy gold trim sort of evokes the fleur-de-lis of course the the labels are in the shape of a cross to go with saint germain's it's got a really neat logo on the cap they even have like designs in the back side of the stickers. You have embossed letters on both sides, liqueur special. It just goes to show the incredible amount of care that they put into designing and creating this bottle. There, there's no other bottle like it. They don't even mention anything about it on the website or in any promotional materials. Disserono, for example, boasts about how it was designed by a master glass worker or whatever. I don't think it can hold a candle to this. I love having this on my shelf. Also, this is 20% uh, ABV, and it usually runs about $30 for a 750 milliliter bottle. Oh man, that smell. Yeah, it smells really perfumey. Light fruits and big floral. It's like peachy. I smell guava. Pear. Maybe almost hint of honey. Or like, there's like a nectariness oh, to it. Like a really ripe cantaloupe or a honeydew. I've never had this fruit myself, but lychee. I've had friends tell me that it smells exactly like lychee. Definitely floral is the dominant smell. It's just intoxicating. You don't need to try to smell it. It's just right there, and you recognize it. And it's very mouth-watering, too. It's got a very savory smell. Cheers. This drink makes me happy every time. It's just so, like, peppy and light and sweet. It will definitely put a smile on your face. The way I always describe it, it's like manna from heaven. I can't think of a single thing I don't like about this. And by the way, don't have it on the rocks. It's just such a happy, bright drink that when you put it on the rocks, it just kind of kills it. It has, like, um, the taste of a really ripe or mild uh, tamarind. Tamarind is used a lot in, like, Mexican candies. This definitely tastes like that. The thing that pops out at me is floral and perfumey, even in the flavor. And then after that, you've got a nice blend of some fruity notes. Pear is a big fruit flavor that I'm getting from this. Like you said earlier, definitely getting some of those like honeydew, cantaloupe, melons, overly ripe ones too. Definitely like a nectary type flavor also. Peach, there's definitely some peach in there too. Maybe like a nectarine or something like that. Very sweet. But it's not like gross sweet. Yeah, it's not like a cloying sweetness. Everything about this drink is very light. Except the flavor. The flavor is not light at all. It's so savory and full-bodied. It's like eating an overripe fruit. Yeah, that's a great way to describe it. Everything about this feels like overly ripe and really, really sweet. It coats your tongue, but not like in a sticky kind of way. It just washes down as you kind of suck on your tongue. It's got a really great finish too. I tend to like more herbal liqueurs because 
They're usually more complex. There's just more to them. It takes longer for me to get tired of them. But St. Germain's is a sweet liqueur, a fruity liqueur that I find myself coming back to all the time. And I can't imagine getting tired of it. It makes for a good sipper, even though it's sweet, just because of how nice and how full, full it is. You take one sip and it's like taking a bite of something. The flavor just bursts out of it. So everything about it is a treat. So, as you can see, we have two empty glasses, which means unanimous recommendations. This liqueur is the epitome of perfect for me. It's definitely a five out of five. Without any hesitation, I will say that. It's the perfect mixture of sweet and savory and tangy. It's complex, but it's also easy to enjoy. If you're really into it, you'll enjoy it because of its complexity. If you're just a casual drinker, you'll enjoy it because it's just plain delicious. From its presentation to the taste, the smell, it's just a perfect treat. I love having it in my collection. It's one of those liqueurs that I always need on hand. Whether I want to show it to someone or whether I just want to have a drink of it myself to wind down after the day, it's absolutely excellent. I haven't used it to make cocktails myself because I think it's delicious on its own, but I'm sure it would be great if you're into mixology or anything like that. I completely agree. I'm going to give this a 5 out of 5 as well, easily. I could never get tired of drinking this, and I almost think that it's impossible not to like this. I think this is a perfect liqueur to maybe introduce someone to if they're naive to liqueurs. It's just very tasty. It's probably one of the tastiest liqueurs out there. A lot of the other liqueurs, you know, they have nice flavors going on, but you really have to like get into it to like it. This, it's so easily likable. Maybe the easiest liked liqueur that I've had. Everything about it is great. This is a home run. If you haven't tried it, what are you waiting for? Pick yourself up a bottle of it. It is well worth the money. That is the Everyday Aficionados with our St. Germain's review. See you next time. <laughs> Does that look too much like a penis? I notice that every time you do it, but how else are we going to... Arrange mm -hmm. them a little farther apart.